Now, I know I said I was gonna give my five top CNC accessories in this video, but I couldn't help pass up giving this last bonus tip because it's helped me so much. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm Brett, and this is my laser garage. Me and my wife run a full-time laser engraving business out of our home, and this channel is all about helping you out with your laser or CNC business. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out, today's video is packed with valuable insights to up your CNC game. I've got five killer CNC accessories that will save you time, improve your projects, and maybe even spark some new ideas. Let's dive right in. Accessory number one is clamps. You need to secure that workpiece like your masterpiece depends on it, because it does. Nothing ruins a project faster than a wobbly piece of material. You've got a few options here, but by far, just the simple clamp here is my favorite option. These are low cost, provide a ton of hold down pressure, and won't ruin your bits if you accidentally run into them. I'm a big fan of the essential clamps that come with the Shapeoko series of CNC's. They are low cost, offer all the benefits I just talked about, plus they have an added feature of helping to flatten out bowed or slightly warped boards because they apply downward pressure. Nothing ruins a V-car faster than bowed stock, let me tell you that. If you make flags, this tip is for you. Simply place your clamps in the correct area to counteract the bow or cup in your stock to help flatten it out. I like to apply just enough clamping force to accomplish this and use a metal ruler to make sure I'm flat across all planes of the board. This way, you won't have any high or low spots, which will wreak havoc on V-carved stars. If your stock is nice and flat, another fast and easy clamping method is sideways pressure or cam clamps. These push your material tightly against a fence or other stop, keeping everything from moving, and are extremely fast to set up. These are my go-to clamps when working with flat material like MDF, simply due to the speed of the setup. One or two of these clamps can take the place of four essential clamps when used in conjunction with a fence setup. I really like these crusher clamps sold by Carbide 3D. And one of the best parts about these clamps that I mentioned is this, they won't break the bank. And some options are actually free, which I'll talk about later in this video. Tip number two, upgrade your wasteboard. I love the Shapeoko hybrid style wasteboard. With three inch wide slats sandwiched between T-Track, you have a lot of clamping options. But sometimes work holding is just slightly out of reach depending on the size of your stock. This was super frustrating at times. Although it could be overcome with various clamping techniques, the need to simplify clamping in this no man's land of wasteboard was one of the reasons that led me to develop a customized wasteboard option. By adding 120 M5 threaded inserts into the wasteboard slats, I all but eliminated this clamping issue. Plus, if I ever need a one-off clamping situation that this layout doesn't accommodate, I can simply add a custom threaded insert to this design with the wasteboard installed. Additionally, I added 20 millimeter dog holes on the X and Y axis to act as a fence system. This gives me a stopping point to use my sideways pressure clamps I talked about earlier, or a really fast and easy point to reference material, so I don't need to constantly re-zero my X and Y axis zero points. And by holding these dogs about an inch or so off the bottom portion of the wasteboard, I'm still able to apply downward clamping force to the bottom of my work pieces which is really important if you're dealing with slightly bowed material like I talked about in my last tip. And as a bonus, my wasteboard upgrade is made with one inch thick ultralight MDF, so you're able to get more resurfaces out of them over the stock three quarter inch wasteboard. I've had this set on my Shapeoko 5 Pro for about a year and I couldn't go without them now. If you're interested in this wasteboard setup, I'll leave a link to my Etsy store in the description where you can purchase it, as well as 20 millimeter dogs and other accessories that I sell. Speaking of accessories, there are so many resources out there nowadays for you to create a huge array of accessories for little cost or even for free. That's where my third tip comes into play. Not all accessories need to be bought. Places like cutrocket.com have a ton of free files that you can download to help make your CNC projects more efficient. Plus, these made outstanding beginner projects. You get to learn your machine and make functional parts. And if you own a 3D printer, this one's for you. Carbide 3D has a 3D printing library, 
where they provide a ton of free 3D models you can easily print at home for your Shapeoko CNC's. This library has everything from clamps to bit zero caddies, fences, parts trays, end mill holders, dust collection parts, plus many more. So many high quality models and it's all for free. Don't have a 3D printer? Well, I've got you covered there also. I have many of these items listed for sale on my Etsy page. So if you're interested in upping your CNC organizational or clamping game, go check that out to help support the channel. My fourth top accessory for my Shapeoko 5 Pro CNC is this, custom work trays. As I mentioned before, these are great on multiple levels. First, they help you organize what can quickly become a chaotic amount of small parts and accessories you'll be collecting for your awesome new hobby. But these projects also help you become familiar with your new equipment in a safe way because they are pretty basic parts to machine and often can be made with free or scrap material you have laying around the shop. Plus, when you get more comfortable, you can easily modify existing files or create your own setups to meet your specific needs. That's what I've done here with one of my latest designs. These custom tool trays I designed serve a bunch of different functions and are quickly becoming one of my go-to accessories. Lately, I found it very beneficial to have my most used clamps, end mills, and tools out in the open and ready to use rather than buried away in a drawer. For that reason, I designed these tool trays to hold all of these items, plus they serve another function. The tray on the left of my machine also serves as a fence. So when used with my wasteboard setup and dogs, I now have a fence setup to easily reference my X and Y starting points while optimizing the full space of my wasteboard. I currently use my small and large versions of these trays, but I also designed a mini version as well. These setups efficiently utilize the space on the left and the right side of the CNC, but also still allow the use of the T-Track for clamping options. If you'd like to make these for your Shapeoko 5 Pro, I'll leave a link in the description to purchase the digital file. The file contains everything you need from the design to toolpaths, so they are ready to run. They can also be easily customizable if you have specific items you like to store. Now that you have your clamping needs met and your CNC is neatly organized, my last tip helps you control it. I love this little wireless keyboard. It really has made my Shapeoko much easier to control. Carbide Motion has a great user interface and jogging controls, but it is limited by where you have your computer set up. In the past, I've had my laptop on the other side of the shop, for example, which made it very difficult to jog the CNC while zeroing, for example. This can even be difficult when you have a laptop right next to the machine. Heck, I have a touchscreen tablet mounted on my table, and I still find it difficult to jog sometimes, especially when trying to hit a specific mark. That's where this little wireless keyboard comes in. With this, I can bring my keyboard to my project and jog my CNC around while being right up on my material. This makes manually setting zero points a breeze, even if your computer is across the room. It also has a built-in trackpad, which you can use to start your projects. At about 25 bucks, it's well worth the investment. There's a bunch of options out there, but I'll leave an affiliate link to the model I use in the description if you're interested in picking one up. Now, I know I said I was gonna give my five top CNC accessories in this video, but I couldn't help pass up giving this last bonus tip because it's helped me so much. These magnet strips have been a game changer since I've installed them on my CNC bench. They're very simple, but they make it so convenient to quickly attach items I routinely use throughout a project, all within arm's reach. This piggybacks on what I was talking about earlier about having your most used items out in the open so you can easily access them. I use these to attach my Allen wrenches, collet wrenches, tape measure, end mills, or anything else metal I need quick access to during a project. At about 10 bucks a piece, I found these so useful that I added a second strip to my table. And there you have it, my top five CNC accessories and a bonus tip to help you elevate your projects and workflow. I hope you found these tips helpful and that they spark some new ideas for your own setup. Now, I'd love to hear from you. What are your favorite CNC accessories? Did I miss anything that you swear by? Drop a comment below and let's get a conversation going. If you enjoyed this video, do me a quick favor. Hit that like button to let me know and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. By subscribing, you're not just supporting the channel, you're joining a growing community of makers and creators who share your passion for CNC and laser engraving. And hey, make sure to ring that bell so you never miss out on future tips, tricks, and project ideas. 
I've got some really exciting content coming up your way and you won't want to miss it. And before you go, why not check out one of these videos on your screen right now? There's always more to learn and explore. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.